Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here. Another noob flights. This one's on uh, practice routes. So this being a simulator, you can fly wherever you want. But from what I'm hearing is if you want to go to uh, flight school, and uh, I, I'm considering it, that they're going to limit you to a very small area to start flying, which makes sense, you know, in, until you can just learn how to fly then, uh, you know, why muck about in other people's airspaces? So in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's kind of difficult to, to read what's going on with airspaces. But for right at the moment, we see Denver airspace up here and Colorado Springs air, uh, airspace here. So I'm assuming that, uh, you know, we can kind of roam in this area. The more I zoom out, though, then it starts getting crazy. It's like, well, what are all these airspaces and the over sections and, and well, where can I fly? And out here, it doesn't help at all. And then uh, certain areas like military airports aren't listed. So in a case like this, um, basically, you could just fly in a circle here. This is really about picking routes. So, I mean, we know we can do it, but uh, I really recommend looking at skyvector.com let me see if this will pop up here yeah good 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 so some things uh we can see here that make our life a little bit easier is we can clearly see the airspaces now so here's the colorado springs airspace here's denver airspace there's really nothing right here there are these little areas that are in red caution intensive student training well, that's us. This is for the United States Air Force. Intensive United States Air Force student training within 22 DME of uh, BRK at 11,500 feet and below. You know, we're also in there and, you know, we don't have to fly right here. Some things we can have some fun flying around. Here's some uh, wind turbines. So if we're flying an Icon, that's, that's fun practice. Fairgrounds at Calhan if we need a place to land. So going this way, it gets too congested, and then the mountains are right here. So on your own map, you're going to want to find an area you can fly uh, and, and pick routes in between them. Now, there's things you can track to. Forgive me for zooming in and out so much. But VORs, radio towers, they're listed here too. They're listed in the game, too. You can find them, but you do have to zoom in awful close and scroll around. So here's one, and it's right there, positioned near the airport. And we can tune to that as we work our way out here. If we get lost, what you should do is tune to your nearest VOR and make your way back towards the airport. If we're heading out from that point, we can tune to the, the Hugo VOR, VOR right here. So, uh, that won't get us in too much trouble. We still might clip some of that area. But we know that if we see the wind turbines over here, that we should probably head south a little bit. On these blue lines, the Victor Airways, if we're learning how to use the GPS, we can plot to the intersection points like Adana here, which inside Colorado Springs airspace, but, you know, we kind of sit right in the corner, so I don't think they'll mind too much. We can plot to points on a Victor Airway, Chiba, and that's right here. We can then, um, if we were to go out to Hugo, so if we're on the Chiba, we know we're on Chiba, we're not in this red box area, we can head to the Hugo VOR. At this point, we can fly over it and turn to any of these course settings to be on any one of these other Victors and go as far far as these intersections so limix and then we can turn and we can head towards lufsey or use your uh, compass map and when you hit that intersection point you know turn to a, a compass heading so you see how you can um, start figuring out routes that you want to plan 
from your airport that don't mess with anybody. So I usually come out here and again go to Hugo, and there's really nothing out here until you get over here. So I can track for a little while towards the Lamar VOR, and then learn how to find intersection points along here. I still haven't figured out how to enter Victor Airways into the GPS. Just just the waypoints. So I might go this way, and then here's Toady, T-O-D-D-E. Right, and then I can map over here to the Pueblo VOR. And maybe do a touch and go. So definitely you can use the other airports in the area for, for touch and goes. But again, um, if it was the real world, they're just going to lock you into a little box for a little while. Which is fine. And I'm sure there you can find something close to your area in your, your map. That would be fun to fly. Again, there's all these little wind towers all along here. And it's pretty flat and, yeah, shouldn't be able to, I shouldn't get in too much trouble just flying little patterns out here. Plus, it gets you ready for the real world. Learning how to do this, okay. I know how to do this. I know this airspace is here. This one is here. There's an, other military areas along here where they don't really want you to fly. Look at this one. For reasons of national security, pilots are requested to avoid flight at and below 3,000 above ground level in this area. Well, you know. So it lessens our travel area even more. And more and more, we're getting less and less. But the whole idea is it's okay. You're just practicing in a confined area to learn how to do the basics. So the, the basics, again, are just learning how to fly and learning how to plot to VORs and then using your GPS to learn how to plot to waypoints. Or at least, you know, using your GPS to point out the right direction. You don't, you can, but it's nice to learn how to use the autopilot. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's traditional flying and then working your way up to the GPS plotting and using your autopilot and just practicing over and over again. And uh, I know you're going to want to break free, but you'll be better off for it. And you'll have a lot more fun planning routes now in and around and avoiding people's airspace. And we're learning how to cross through people's airspace. And either way, you'll get there. But if you were just wanting to set up practice runs, that's that's how I do mine. So thanks for watching. This has been uh, Kenny's with another Noob Flights on Practice Routes. If you like, subscribe. Uh, yeah.